them back after an important message. That's wonderful stuff. That, believe it or not, was David Bowie advertising Love, the ice lolly from 1968. Special ice lolly for hippies. And that's uh, one of the, um, the pieces of trivia that's been put um, into this book by uh, Roy Carr and Charles Shaw Murray of the NME. David Bowie, an illustrated record, and we've got Roy here to talk about it. Roy, let's get one thing straight in the first yeah. place. Something that's always confused me. Is it Bowie or Bowie? If you've got a phone, we'll ring him. <laughs> Is it Bowie or Bowie? Bowie. How do you say that? Halfway between. Halfway yeah. between. How does he say it? You have no idea at all. Tell me, for, for anybody who hasn't come across your previous um, yeah. um, excursions in this field, you've previously done a Beatles illustrated record, and the, Stones. the Stones illustrated record. Yeah. What is an illustrated record? It's the artists are seen through their music as opposed to a scurrilous biography. I see. I understand there are a lot of people in Fleet Street who are interested in a scurrilous oh, biography. Oh, yeah. When, we, uh, when they found out we were doing it, they all descended upon us said uh, we want serialization rights when we, they found out uh, we didn't discuss his sex life or anything like that they Do you think anybody will get around to doing a scurrilous biography of David Bowie? Well probably about seven or eight will come out. I see. Uh, how did he actually get into advertising ice lollies? I think he was broke at the time and it was a way of paying them. <laughs> <laughs> well that's how the police started off wasn't it? <laughs> Chewing gum or something like that. Do you think he'd be embarrassed about that nowadays? No he loves it. I see. Is it difficult to find actual pieces of trivia like that? How do you go about it? Where do you start? That took a year to find. We found it in a vault. No label, been laid there for about 10 years, and as far as we know, that is the only print left. Mm -hmm. Is it more difficult to find things on Bowie than it was on the Beatles or the Stones? Yeah, uh, yeah because uh, David flitted from about six record companies, and nobody kept anything. Mm -hmm. There's lots of myths that have grown up around him over the years. Are there any that this book allowed you to either confirm or deny? Um, yes, in particular the uh, David Bowie pinups, the one where he did all the cover versions. Mm -hmm. There was all these rumours going around that there was a volume two, and we confronted him with it, and he said no. There probably is, he's probably got all the tapes and won't know. So do you actually cooperate with him? Oh on yes. Um, in what way? Well, he was doing The Elephant Man when we were doing the book, the main part of the book. We've been, Charlie and I, worked on it for about two years on and off. And uh, we sent him questionnaires when he was doing The uh, Elephant Man, came back with interesting stuff like Jimmy Page play guitar on his second record. Mm -hmm. Does he actually collect his old things as well? I think he just collects books. Uh -huh. Not records, <laughs> not interested. No, and old managers. What <laughs> what do, what's the most valuable sort of bit of trivia that attaches to David Bowie? Oh, well, I suppose the very first record, David Jones and the King Bees. Mm -hmm. How much would that fetch? Uh, are you buying or selling? Uh, buying. <laughs> <laughs> About a hundred pounds, brand new. How do you account for the fact that he's just he's remained there over all these years? One step ahead. Fashionable. One step ahead. I mean, whether it's intent or just pure luck, I don't know. But he's always. You've only got to look what's happening now on the charts. 50% of it is all uh, David Bowie casualties. Well, th thanks very much, Roy Carr. Back Thank to you. Annie.